What's up guys and welcome back to Headphones Neil Reviews. I'm your host as always, Headphones Neil, with a quick film review in the form of the Ryan Reynolds film Free Guy. So I had a chance to watch the film on Disney Plus and overall going into it, my initial thought was it felt a lot like a live action version of Wreck-It Ralph meets Ready Player One and that's more or less what we got where the plot and overall story was kind of Wreck-It Ralph where um, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds' character as Guy learns that he's in a video game and throughout the course of the film learns about the video game and that there's more going on in what's considered the actual real world versus what he thought was the real world. So all of that was very well done and in traditional Ryan Reynolds humor and comedy so that generally worked for me. Um, it's the Ready Player One portion where we have, um, it's kind of along the lines of this, the whole idea of free world or the world of free guy was that it's a simulation. It's kind of like the Sims where it's, uh, you create your avatar and you're living in this, um, or your character is living in a simulation. So, uh, and then you can control it and control their everyday lives. You have, um, actual players who are the users and then NPCs, which is Ryan Reynolds's character. So, in general, all of that um, worked, and then you have the plot develop um, over the course of the film as far as the real world um, issues that go on, as far as copyright, or and it's kind of like an overview, not necessarily the nitty gritty, but um, you have the whole idea of copyright and ownership and who created what, at what point does code ownership go from one person to a next um, who actually owns the code and um, that sort of stuff so that generally all was very it's probably not necessary and I'm gonna say it's a lesser part of the film but it was not the bad or worst part of the film it was actually super intriguing I liked all of those characters and actors and portrayals especially Taika Waititi's um, portrayal as Antoine his interaction with Joe Keery as Keys the guy from the guy from I want to say the hot dog shop from Stranger Things. So all in all, a film worth watching. So if you're a fan of Taika Waititi or Ryan Reynolds or anything like that, then you can definitely, you should definitely watch this film. And for me, it was just a, fu a fun little two hour film that in general explores um, video games living in the same environment and all of that. Um, for me, the only thing that I would probably change in the film, and this goes back to, and now I'm drawing a blank on that film that was filmed entirely from the um, first person uh, point of view, um, but I was I would kind of hope that they would have differentiated the real world and the simulation by the um, when we're in the simulation of a free city, a free world, or whatever that. We're in the point of view of Ryan Reynolds' character, but then when we're in the real world, we switch to the point, we go to the third person view. Um, so that's kind of the only change that I would have made. And of course we could have um, had given Ryan Reynolds his on screen time by having his reflection in the doorway or himself, him seeing himself in the mirror and then doing kind of like the matrix thing that uh, once he realizes that He's in a simulation after putting on the glasses. We do like that whole um, de-digitization of his mental state to show that transition of what he's becoming. So um, that's generally the um, bulk of the film. So, um, and the film that I was thinking of shot in first person view was Hardcore Henry. So. I would have kind of, I'm kind of hoping that when we start seeing more films like this uh, related to video games or simulations that they start doing more of that. Even if it's in animated for, um, format, like if they did decide to finally make a video, a good uh, movie out of the video game Doom, that that's exactly what they do. Or even if they do Duke Nukem 3D or um, Half-Life or anything like that, that they do it all in first person view and make a good film around it. So overall, if I was to grade the film, I would give it a grade of about a B plus to an A minus. Um, is it a perfect film? Pro probably not. Is it, you know, Oscar worthy? No, but it's definitely funny um, because it's Ryan Reynolds. You know what you're going to be able to expect from the film and you kind of 
don't have to really put too much brain power in it. Um, especially when you get to the point at the end of the film when we get to um, the character Dude, who's basically the super buff, strong version of the Ryan Reynolds character. So that was, of course, particularly funny. Um, on Rotten Tomatoes, the film is getting a score of 80% with the critics and 94% with the audience. So generally well received. And like I said, it's a funny film. Are there, is it perfect? No, but it was definitely funny. Um, when you're looking at um, Ryan Reynolds' comedy, it just feels like he brings it all the time, no matter what film he's in. So it, it definitely elevates the film. And his facial expressions and interactions with everybody um, make it that much better of a film. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or anything like that, you can comment on this post on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is headfallsneal.reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning into this particular episode and review, and until next time.